Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. Now in every programming language, you have functions. And functions are very important because without functions, then you're going to find yourself typing the same thing over and over again. And you're probably thinking, well, why can't I just use loops to do something over and over again? Well, a loop does something over and over again now. What if I want to do it once now, two times later, and then maybe another three times later? A loop doesn't really help me there. So functions allow you to bundle up like a certain set of a certain function into um, a command. Okay, so you can create your own tools to use later. Now, the Ruby syntax is a little odd, um, and in good and bad ways, depending on what your preference is. But basically, you start off with the keyword def. So like Python, you start off with the keyword def to define a function. And then you put the name of the function. So we're going to say, hey, add nums, meaning add numbers. Cool. Now, usually, you would have a, like most languages, you'd put a parenthesis here. Even though what the parentheses usually mean is parameters, meaning, OK, what kind of variables can the person who uses this function put into the function for the function to do its job? But since this function is first function, we're going to actually say, actually, so let me change the name of this. Let's call this to say hello. This function is not going to take any parameters. OK, so in that case, in, in Ruby, you don't actually have to put anything. You just say def say hello. OK. And then again, just like everything else, everything between that declaration of a variable, the def, and the, and the word end is your function. So in this case, we'll just say puts hello. And then the, that's, that's my function. And I can now call that function whenever I want. So I can be like, say hello. Say hello. Say hello. OK, and, I don't, and then even when I call the function, I don't have to put a parentheses. Usually, you'd have to put an empty parentheses just so that way the programming language knows that you're invoking the function. Without the parentheses, it's thinking that you're just referring to the definition of the function. Not in Ruby. In Ruby, you can just do that. And it works. See, hello, hello, hello. OK. Which, you know, if Ruby is your first language, then that is nice. You don't have to worry about making all these parentheses. If you, it's not your first language, it's probably going to take you a while to get used to not having to put parentheses everywhere. But I could put parameters. So let's say we make this add num again. Add nums for add numbers. And we're going to have two variables, OK, A and B. Cool. So all that's going to happen is that it's going to put A plus B. Cool. And then I hit run. Oh, actually, I actually have to call the function. So add nums. Then I'll do it again. Oh, actually, I actually have to put in the parameters, though. Add nums 5, 5. Add nums four four. Okay, now see ten and eight just adds the two numbers because it does what I told it to do. So I mean functions are pretty straightforward in that in that regard. But oftentimes I don't need a, a function to just put something on the screen. I need a function to get me a number that I can use for something else. So that means the value needs to be returned. OK, so for example, to give you an example, oftentimes we'll use functions in other functions. So if I were to say puts, and then what it puts is add nums by 5, basically what this, should be what this is basically saying is saying print. Usually I'm saying puts means print something on the screen. But what it's going to print on the screen is whatever add nums gives back to it, whatever it returns. But add nums right now returns nothing. So even though it's going to print 5, 5, 5 plus 5 on the screen, so it'll print 10. And if I add add nums for main object, did you mean add nums? Oh, yeah. Capitals. Capitals matter. It's a thing. And but C doesn't print anything else after the 10. So that puts, even though it printed 10, that's not. So if I were to change this to just A plus B, or yeah, we'll just say C equals A plus B. Now it's not going to print anything because there's no return value. 
Why is it still printing tan inputs? Add nums, five by five. I guess it's automatically is returning the C for but the point is typically what you'd want to do is you want to actually explicitly return the value, return C. Okay, which should still result in 10. Okay, so basically what's happening here is saying this new variable C equals A plus B of these two variables. And now when this function ends, please return this value of C. So then that it's putting C. Cool. So that's how functions work. So again, the important thing to remember is how to define the function, returning values. Generally, when you return a value, the function ends. So if I were to put code after return C, it probably won't run. Okay, so generally you want to make sure that everything happens before you return the value that you want to happen. And as in Ruby, as in many of the structures, you know, you declare that this is happening, you declare the loop, you declare the if, you declare the function, and then the code ends when you must say end very explicitly. So that is that. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll talk about classes. Have a great day.